ALS alternative learning systems asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission or AIDA asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission so this is the first space mission to demonstrate an asteroid impact hazard mitigation meaning we want to deflect an asteroid if if it is potential if it has a potential to come and hit earth so that is what nasa and european space agency is trying to do so if a potential space hazard is coming towards earth even before it reaches us it should be deflected away if we can identify it earlier that is the idea behind the nasa and european space agency mission so it will use a kinetic impactor to deflect an asteroid and measure the deflection. Now, this is a mission to deflect and see how much the deflection will take place. It is an international cooperation between European Space Agency and NASA. So, what is this asteroid impact and deflection assessment? Let us see that. It is an ambitious double space mission, spacecraft mission to deflect an asteroid in space to, pro to prove the technique as a viable method of planet's defense or earth's defense in future. The target is a small, a smaller of the two bodies in the double Didymos asteroids that are in orbit between Earth and Mars. So, we are talking about an asteroid or a double two bodies called a double Didymos asteroids that are in orbit between Earth and Mars. Didymos is a non is a near Earth asteroid system. Its main body measures around 780 meters in diameter. And a smaller body surrounding them, it is around, it is a moonlet, it is a, it's a, like a moon, it is called moonlet, it is about 160 meters in diameter. The project aims to deflect the orbit of the smaller body through an impact by one spacecraft. So, the smaller body, the moonlet of the Didymos of just 160 meters in diameter, it will be deflected by uh, an, uh, you know, by using an impact of a spacecraft, that is the idea behind the whole thing. Now, then a second spacecraft will survey the crash site and gather the maximum possible data on the effect of this collision. So, we are having setting a double spacecraft mission, one will go and impact the, the moonlet of Didymos and then the other one will be surveying the impact of the collision of the spacecraft with this uh, you know uh, in, uh, with this asteroid now what are, how how are they trying to do how is the Na nasa trying to do see nasa is building a double asteroid impact test or a dart double asteroid impact test spacecraft to be launched in summer of 2021 it is planned to collide with a with a target at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second speed in September 2022, it will go and hit in September 2022 and flying along with DART will be an Italian made miniature CubeSat called Licia Cube, L-I-C-I-A Cube to record the moment of impact. U European Space Agency's contribution is a mission called HERA, H-E-R-A, which will perform a close up survey of the post impact asteroid acquiring the measurements such as asteroids mass, the detailed crater shape etc. And HERA will also deploy a pair of CubeSats, smaller satellites we are talking about, a very miniature satellites for a close up asteroid survey and the very first radar probe of the asteroid. This can help uh, turn this experiment into a, a technique that could be repeated in the event of a real threat. So, that is how this whole idea of what you call the asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission by NASA and space, NASA and European Space Agency and uh, as I told there is a double asteroid impact test. One oh, spacecraft will go and impact, the other will be watching and taking the, uh, the records. Now, the, the CubeSat, what do you mean by CubeSat? CubeSats are a class of nano satellites, very, very small miniature satellites that use a standard size and form factor. The standard CubeSat size is one unit or one U measuring 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter length, 10 centimeter breadth and 10 centimeter height, a cube of 10 by 10 into 10 into 10. 
centimeters and it can be increased to 1.5 also uh, 2, 3, 6 and uh, even 12 units. So, 1 u means 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Then CubeSats now provide a cost effective platform for science investigations, new technology demonstrations and advanced mission concepts using constellations, swarms, disaggregated systems. Okay. So, this is a CubeSat is a small nano satellites which are being developed. India is also having a mastery in developing this CubeSats. Many universities are launching CubeSats along with our polar satellite launch uh, missions. So, CubeSat mission benefits earth in various ways. So, there is no doubt regarding that it can take the imaging of the, the from earth imaging uh, earth imaging satellites. So, they can uh, you know be the CubeSats which can take the images on the earth it can be it can help in the meteorology. So, multiple uh, you know uses are there for the CubeSats there is no doubt regarding this. So, in this discussion which I am making. So, NASA is planning an asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission they want to impact on this asteroid and then deflect the asteroid such a way that this asteroid can change its path and we can be saved from any possible collision on earth if a real uh, life threat comes in future that is the idea and they are experimenting on a you know an asteroid called a double didymos which is revolving between earth and mars and the smaller one which is around 160 meters in diameter will be impacted by a spacecraft and the other spacecraft will take the collect the data to ensure that we know how exactly uh, you know this impact has happened and all. So, this is the meaning of IDA or asteroid impact and deflection assessment mission.